Alrighty guys, so in this video, we're going to take a look at seven of the best performing shaders in 1.19.4. Uh, these shaders should be able to run on pretty much any computer, as long as you can run Minecraft in the first place. Now, I'm also using Optifine to use all of these shaders. Now, I know in some cases you can uh, get better performance using Iris, but uh, the anti-aliasing looks a little bit worse in Iris, and you don't have zoom. So yeah, so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first shader here, which is actually the one that I'm using right now, which is called the Complementary Reimagined Shaders 2.0. Uh, and these shaders have an average FPS of around 114. And in my opinion, I do think they look the best out of the all of the shaders on this list, but they do perform the worst. Let me change the time here so that it's uh, daytime. But as you can see, these shaders do look really, really nice and you get really good performance with them too. And one thing I forgot to mention is that all of these shaders will be linked in the description down below if you want to uh, download them. Uh, you can go ahead right from there and uh yeah this is the first shader now let's move on to the second shader which is going to be the makeup ultra fast shaders right here and these i do think also look really really nice and you get an average fps of 120 with these and one thing that i really like about these shaders is the water i think they really nailed it with this one I'll fly up here a little bit it just looks so nice even when you're underwater too it's really clear they don't have that waving distortion effect on the screen, which some people might like, but I personally do not. The shader also gives you some really nice god rays, especially right in the morning. Uh, so yeah, this is just a really nice shader, gives you good performance. Now let's move on to the number three spot here, which will be the Chalk Pick 13. Uh, yeah, this one here, Chalk Pick 13 V8 Medium shaders right here. Now, these shaders also look super nice. They do have a weird bug going on where we get these, like, white border around some of the leaves right here. I'm um, not sure why that is, but if we ignore that, it is a very good-looking shader and gives you really good performance. And we get an average FPS of around 125 with these shaders. But as you can see, it's actually going much higher right now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Now we're down to around 100. But uh, yeah, one cool thing that this shader does is it actually makes glass reflective, which in some cases doesn't look that good. Like with interior windows here, it can be hard to see out of them. But if you have glass outside, like I do here, it can be a pretty cool feature. But the water in this shader also looks very nice too. This has a more like tropical blue kind of look to it. And uh, it's still... And it's also really easy to see underwater too, just like the makeup ultra fast shaders. And yeah, the only real downside to this shader is that the trees uh, that are far away look really bad. But I mean, you got to make some sacrifices for the better performance. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the number four spot, which will be the Dr. Destin's Minecraft shaders right here. And these shaders also look very nice. Not as good as the other ones that I've shown, but they do still give you really good performance. Uh, we get an average FPS with these ones of right around 130. And one really cool feature that this shader has is that it has depth of field, which depth of field is just when you're looking at an object up close and the background gets blurred or the same here. Like as you can see, the fence is blurred now. And I just think this looks really good and it looks and it's way better than any other shader that I've used that has depth of field. Because uh, in some of the other shaders that I've tried to have this, this feature, uh, it changes too slowly. So like when you look at something, it'll still be blurry and then it'll slowly change that that doesn't look good at all but this changes really quickly and it looks really nice but you can turn that off in the settings if you want but oh uh, yeah the shader just has a little bit more of a vanilla feel to it and they i do think they made the water a little bit too blue but uh that's that's my only really complaint there now let's move on to the number five spot which will be the builders cool shaders right here and this these shaders have really good performance for how they look uh with this i was getting an average fps of around 184 uh, that's while I wasn't recording. Keep in mind, by the way, uh, recording does give me a slight performance hit. So if some of these shaders aren't performing how, I was, how I'm saying they were uh, during my testing, that's why. But this shader looks really nice, especially since we're getting around 150 FPS. Sometimes it goes up to the, almost a 200 mark. And yeah, with the shader, we don't have waving leaves, but we do have waving grass. So that's cool. And the water also, I'm not a big fan of how the water looks. It might be because there's no reflections, but I'm just not a fan of how it looks. But uh, one thing that does look really nice on these shaders is the clouds and the sunsets, which let me change the time here. Yeah, as you can see, sunsets do look very nice. We have some really nice atmospheric fog that changes color uh, to a nice warm tone. And it just looks really nice, as you can see. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the number six spot, which is going to be the Silders Basic Shaders 2.1 Fancy. And these shaders don't do much to improve the visual visuals. Uh, they do make the colors a bit more vibrant and give everything a more warmer tone. And they give you some waving grass, uh, trees, 
and they give uh, waving plants too. Oh, dang it. And they also reworked the lighting a little bit, but we do get exceptional performance on this shader, which I got an average FPS of around 205. But uh, yeah, this is a very close to vanilla experience right here. Uh, but I do think it still looks pretty good and gives you some really good performance. But let's move on to the last shader on my list, which has the best performance out of all of the shaders that I have tested. And it is called the Yo FPS Plus Low Plus Chalkbook 13s Plus Edit Shaders right here. And these shaders have pretty similar performance compared to the Silder's Basic Shaders. Uh, same features too, just a little bit different lighting and stuff just looks a little bit different. Uh, so I'll let you guys pick which one you think looks better. I do think the water looks a little bit better on this one compared to the basic shaders. Uh, you can actually see through the water. I think it looks really nice. But if you still can't run these shaders right here, then you're probably going to be stuck with the uh, internal shaders built into Optifine. Uh, these ones give you an average FPS of around, I think I was like 250 for me. But uh, yeah. But now that we are at the end of our list here, I do have a quick word from our sponsor. Buff. Introducing Buff, the gamer's loyalty app. It lets you earn Buff coins while playing your favorite games. All you have to do is download Buff, play games, earn Buff coins, and buy amazing things. Steam credits, Riot points, V-Bucks, gift cards, game keys, skins, hardware, and so much more. This app will not slow down your PC, and it's fully secure and safe. Just let it run in the background while you continue playing your favorite games. Buff is every gamer's paradise as it rewards you for what you love to do best. Download now for free. So yeah, click the link in the top of the description to try Buff. I mean, you really don't got no reason not to. You can earn earn some money while you play your favorite games. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you didn't, hey, drop a like down below and uh, get subscribed for more Minecraft content like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.